Welcome to our deep dive into C++ programming. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when using GCC. Our question revolves around the challenges faced with default member initializers and inherited constructors. Let's explore this intriguing scenario together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. In this video, we will explore a specific issue with GCC and its handling of default member initializers combined with inherited constructors in C++11. Let's take a look at the test case provided. We have a structure called base foo wrapper, which takes an integer in its constructor. Next, we define a structure foo that takes a reference to base foo wrapper in its constructor. This is where the issue arises when we try to use inherited constructors in some foo wrapper. When we attempt to initialize foo with a default member initializer in some foo wrapper, GCC fails to compile. However, this code compiles successfully with other compilers like Clang and Visual C++. To resolve this, we can replace the inherited constructor with a handwritten constructor in some foo wrapper. This allows the code to compile in GCC, but it introduces boilerplate code. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The answer references the C++ standard, explaining that the keyword this refers to the object in a member function. In the provided code, the initialization of some foo wrapper foo isn't happening within a member function, so this doesn't have a valid meaning according to the standard. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.